Well, good morning to you. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. So this workout today, we're hitting all lower body, focusing a little bit on inner thigh, booty, legs, it's the whole gamut this morning. So make sure that you do this warm up with me. We'll warm everything up, get ready to go. We'll end with a cool down as well. You'll require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. I'm also gonna use a boxer bench. Of course, I'll show you that modification if you don't have one. All right, I'm ready to move daily and hit this lower body. Let's do it. All right, let's warm up that inner thigh. That's gonna be our first round of exercises anyway, so let's just get that all warmed up. I'm going super slow, just side to side here, trying to stretch into that area there. Okay, I'm gonna camp out in the center here and just kind of pulse down, stretching those hamstrings and lower back a little bit. All right, one more side to side here. Heel up, flexing, stretching getting all the kinks worked out this morning. All right, break right here in the center again, just a little pulse. Good, try to bring those elbows towards the ground. And let's round up through the back. Keep your legs wide and touch your toes here. So for 10 right here, that's it. Two more. Yeah, a squat. I'm just gonna reach down, up, overhead. <clears throat> I don't think I said the format today, but we are doing a time workout. Take it wide here. Um, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between each. We're putting the exercises on repeat just to give them that progressive overload so that we can build and sculpt the muscles, right? Maybe the game today. One more here. Good, all right. Let's just do a little roundhouse squat with the roundhouse here. Get that hip warmed up a bit. Here. And I'm gonna warm up the inner thigh a little bit here. Standing on one foot, flexing my toe, and just getting the hip, inner thigh warmed up here. Let's go for about 12 a side, that's six. Good, and switch sides right here and up. Well, one more squat sequence here. Four more. And take it wide here. All right, I'm just gonna lift up and open and back here. Just up and kind of really open it up there. Just really wanna get that inner uh, groin area warmed up. Good, two more on this side. And switch, little knee grab out and then swing it down. And tall. Four more here. Last one here. And open up. Okay, let's get it started. We're starting with a weighted plie heel lift. 
All right, I've got my 15, holding it here, taking it wide. I'm gonna go down to the bottom, lift one heel, stand up, alternate the lift. So, toes are out. So it's down, lift, and push. Down, lift, and push, good. So, just grabbing my 15 here, round one. You can always go heavier as the rounds progress. Up, and press through the heels. That's it. All right, I'm gonna take that same weight, alternating side to side lunge right here. Okay, super flat back, reach your hips back as if each leg is doing a squat, feet face the front. All right, there we go. Hinge and lean here, that's it. Again, with my 15, you could go heavier. Up after each one into the center and hip goes back. Okay, so 
Side to side lunge. Now your toes face front. Go heavier if you like. Nice and slow, side to side. Okay, if you take the weight up, you can just really slide side to side, nice and slow there. I'm gonna hold it like this. Here we go. So you're here and here. Hip is back, toes are front. That's it. You guys have a super flat back on this guy. That surprisingly gets my heart rate up a little bit there. Um, and then you're not moving fast, but heavier weight. Okay, plie pulse, front jump, back jump. Take it wide, here we go. Pulse and front, pulse and back. Okay, shake that out. Down to the ground. Rainbow leg lift. Oh. Burn out, eh? Okay, off and a half. Here we go. But it's flexed. Sitting that in your thigh. Definitely ankle weights would add a great component to this. It's a bit light for me here, but Heart rate's up, so I'm okay to just bring it down before the next round here. All right, flip it and work here. your plie pulse. Feel okay, lift. Take it wide and low. Low heel and push. Toes are out. like feet face the front reach your hip back ready super flat back and let's work right here Shoulders back. Nice. Okay. Whew. Plie 
Yeehaw. This is the most burn for me here. Here we go. Low pulse forward. Oh, that's hard. All right, last one here. This time let's do 45 seconds per side. Feel that inner thigh burn, okay? So stay with me, foot is flexed. Add a weight if you'd like. Of course you could also do an inner thigh lift using a mini band. Um, by just putting your feet out straight together and then just lifting the bottom one. That adds tension if you don't have like a weighted left foot weight, ankle weight. Now I'm feeling it. Now it's like 30 seconds in, I'm starting to feel it. 22 wasn't enough, was it? Here we go. Lift it up all the way. That's it. Three, two, one, good. Okay, flip it over. I'm just gonna start. I wanna give it a little bit longer. Why not, right? All right, here we go. I think I told you this before, but I did this class for years, and then I taught it for a bit too. Um, it was like, it was all actions like this. So like, you know, we'd do a hundred. It was kind of like a bar class where you do like light weights, high rep range. You're really teaching endurance in the muscle. It's good, it's good to really strengthen those ligaments and joints and just all those smaller muscle groups that we sometimes neglect when we're doing heavy lifts, you know? But this is a good one here. Whew, there's the burn. And four, three, two, and one. Water if you need, and join me for your second circuit. I'm gonna do a step up leg lift. Now if you don't have a box or bench, hold a weight, squat here, leg lift there, okay? All right, I'm just gonna do this without weight. I might add the second round. Here we go, so squat first, and then a little lift. I'm not coming up as you see. I'm staying low, keeping tension on that glute. I'll call half here. Last one on this side, switch here and up. Whew, it's the burn. Okay, ha, huh. stagger deadlift. Grab your 15s, you can go heavier if you'd like. One foot slightly in front, one behind. Half a foot behind, I'll call halfway. And reach, power up. Flat back, lead with your chest. When I watch people do this exercise, a lot of people don't have great form. You've gotta have a flat back. Long arms, dumbbells close to your shins. All right, switch sides and work.
All right, I'm gonna hold my same weights for a suitcase squat. Feet shoulder width apart. Okay, both weights down. Stick your chest out, reach your butt back. Here we go, and drop, drive through the heels. Knees should be equal distance apart. This is a great one to watch form in a mirror. next. Okay. Whew. Dagger deadlift. Half a foot in front. Feet closer together. side. Switch your stance. Should feel it more in that front hamstring glute.
this. All right. Crawling lunges. This is the worst one for me. Hardest, I should say. Let's do it though. And low here. And here. You want to keep tension on the glute by keeping the leg bent, okay? Don't stand up. This hurts your knees, give me a squat pulse. That's fine too. All right, switch your legs. more here, switch. Which is Tiger. Three, two, 
and one. Ha! Okay, what a break. Enjoy me for that last circuit. If you have a mini band, grab it now, put it above the legs. If you don't have one, don't worry. This is just gonna add extra tension to our booty. We're starting off with that weighted glute thrust. So grab your heavy weights. I'm just gonna grab two 15s here, making it 30. Make sure I have a good grip. Each close together and knees are out. We're thrusting up and down here. Okay, putting tension on. Just be really cautious with those dumbbells if you're stacking them like this. Isn't that the smartest idea? But 30 pounds is better than 15 for booty building. These are out and drive. Remember not to arch your back at the top, rather tuck that pelvis under, squeeze your glutes hard. Ditch the weights, leave the band where it's at. Again, feet are coming together. We're gonna put your hips up and do a rapid thrust just like this. Okay, a little glute knee here. Abduction, here we go, open. That's it. Again, this can be done without the band. You're just gonna add more tension if you have it. And if you don't have a band, feel free to just hold that weight on your pelvis still, but you're staying up in this bridge position. Don't let it drop. Ooh, that's a good burn right there already. Yep, feel it. You're flipping over for fire hydrant coming up.
Last five seconds, keep pushing, squeeze at the top. One more here. All right, ditch the weight if you want. Rapid abduct abduction. Feet together again, hips will stay up there in that high bridge position. All right, push it up and open close. Nice and rapid. up out of that squat position. I'm gonna activate those glutes. Make them burn here. That's halfway.
So you have five more seconds here. Push. All right, flip it. To that fire hydrant. Oh, can't wait to take this band off. That's what's there really burn, doesn't it? All right, flat back. Here we go. here. Then just for fun, we're going to repeat each exercise one more time, okay? We'll go through the whole gamut. Just one more. I think we can do it. Oh, booty. There we go. Remember, we're going to start with that plie heel lift. So I'm going to quickly slip my band off after this. I can remember them all. I'm going from memory here, so <laughs> we'll see. Hips. Come on, stay in the pocket. Last five seconds. One more here. And... All right, moving to your plie pulse hop, front and back. This was the hard one of this round. Take it wide. And a little pulse, front hop and back. Feeling this one, hey? Ten seconds. Okay, 
down the ground. I'll get there in a second. Rainbow leg lift. I'll call half. Okay, flex your foot. Here we go. Switch sides here, flip it, and work. That was a fast flip. <laughs> Speedy transitions. <sighs> Standing up for that squat leg lift on the box if you have one coming up. Okay. Walk first, low, and out. Lips are next. Wow. Okay. Staggered deadlift. One half a foot in front. Reach the chest. Switch your stagger. All right, squats. Suitcase squat. favorite this whole day, those crawling lunges. This one's not easy for me. You can't do it though, just take your time. Okay, be quick. 
quickly. And above the knees. If you're using one, if not, load it up. Last four minutes of work. Feet together, knees out, push. Let's go. Bring this home, girls. Let's go hard. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Don't just push the hips up without thinking about your glutes. Put your mind in the muscle. Okay, abductions, rapid fire abductions on your back, feet together, hips to the ceiling. Here we go. Open. Keep your hips up. Takes that tension off so that you just keep them up. Almost there, last five seconds. Then you're flipping through that fire hydrant. Okay, good. Flip it over. I'll call half on this guy. Two more exercises. Doing well, everyone. Let's keep with it. Here we go. And. round. It wasn't super hard, but an additional 10 minutes focused on legs. I think that was good. Hey, you were a good girl. Yes, you were. Well, she was in her kennel. So was she a good girl? No, she was bad. And then I had to put her in the kennel. <laughs> I know you don't like that, but you're too distracting for the people. Hinge forward here or for the mom. Everyone's like, oh, I love your dog. She's so cute. I'm like, eh, well, <laughs> I don't want to step on you. You're gonna let mommy do her workout, you little minion. Yeah, do a little minion. Yeah, now you're happy though. Okay, let's go into a glute stretch. I'm gonna lie down, cross that leg over. Oh, reach through. 
pull it towards you. Oh yeah, that glute. I'm sure I'm gonna feel glutes and those vastus muscles right at the each side of my knee. Those are important muscles to train so that your knee stays stable and strong. Switch legs. In the gym, you do like leg extensions. They're harder to train at home. The problem with some exercises like that too is that sometimes your quad muscle is far stronger than your knee ligaments. And, and you would hate to strain those because your quads are so strong. So you gotta be cautious when you are doing those lifts. I'm gonna cross my legs straight at the knee, grab my ankles and pull them towards me just to increase this stretch. Of course, you're gonna jump right on my face after I do that. <sighs> Where's Froggy? Go get your Froggy. Where's your Froggy? Okay, switch sides and stretch. Bring that in. Oh, that feels amazing. We did a big hike this morning early. How's your movement coming? I, I, I challenged on my Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do, but I challenged people, let's do a straight leg stretch here, um, to get at least 100 minutes of movement in a week. That has to be intentional. You've gotta be mindful that you're actually gonna do something in addition to your workouts. Movement is medicine, movement is life, movement is key to longevity. And uh, the more we can do it, like our early ancestors who did it all day long, the better. Especially if you have a sedentary job. Let's put the feet together, let the knees fall out, and just side to side slow rock here. Um, so I implore people over on Instagram there to say, okay, chart your movement for a week. See if you can get in 100 minutes extra, whether it's gardening, biking, walking to work, walking between... Um, you know, you're on your lunch break, whatever it may be, just adding that extra movement. I'm hugging my knees, rolling the lower back here. So I am avidly trying to do that this week. If I can get at least 15,000 steps on my odometer, pedometer, odometer, pedometer, um, then I feel like I'm, I've got that time in. So that's my goal. Let me know if you want to join that fun goal in the comments below. And I think it's a great Great thing to do, hashtag movement is medicine or hashtag at move daily fitness. Tag me over on Instagram, all your movement, all your photos, I would love to see it. it was, I think it's great and important. Right Lily, and you're a mover, you're like an adventure baby. So take your dog for a walk, do it. All right, see you in the next workout. Click or tap right there for my suggestion for tomorrow. See ya. Mm -hmm.